Hello guys, welcome to a new video on this channel. As you've probably already read, I wanted to talk about a very serious problem that I experience very often when I'm working with Sketch and Principle. Like for example in the last video where I was using this user interface right here or these two screens. Uh, I used them in principle and we are going to import them right now. And I want to show you what exact problem I'm having when I'm working with uh, UIs like that. Now let's just create a basic uh, animation like that. And if I'm clicking the button right now, you see that many items are floating around the whole screen. And that's a problem which you are probably also facing very often. Now we see that we have different elements on both screens that probably have the same name. Now if I open up these folders on the left side we see that we have fill1, fill2, big owl and if you watch closely at the animation you see that the tick icon that's appearing right here is floating in for somewhere from the middle of the screen and that's even uh, that's actually because of these names of these layer names now what you of course can do to like get rid of these problems is to just rename them after you imported this to principle like you have to attach something to the tick or to these layers basically just like I did it right here it's still floating around not sure, maybe it's even because of the folder names still floating around. You see that's a huge problem that we have when we are like designing in principle after we imported files from Sketch. The other way, and this is probably the better way, is to just look up the f in the to the file in Sketch. I want to like close this in principle to show you what I mean and to really give these files and folders and everything basically unique names. Now let me just do this for a moment. I just attached a random number so we can uh, have a look at that. Let me also give the folders a, a unique name and if we go back to principle and if we import it right now we should actually not get the problem that we had. Now we have the two screens right here and I'm just trying my best and it's still happening. So it's basically the same thing which we like try to correct in principle. It's a huge pain to just uh, that we just have to go into the the folder structure and it's actually because we designers are sometimes very lazy when it comes to layer names. Now I know it by myself, I'm really lazy when it comes to like naming layers correctly. We also like to call the background layer BG. And of course very often we have like a huge structure of layer names which are like as we are seeing it right here, oval 1, oval 2, copy 5 and so on. And because all these, because of all these layers that are like having this random name, which is also, which is just uh, generated by sketch, we have a problem because of course the other artboards in our file could have the same name. So it's really important to just use unique names because once you import them to principle or maybe even into other apps then we have a big problem finding the layers that have like a not a unique name and to correct the animation and in one of the last tutorials that I made we really had this problem where I had to use like five minutes or something of my time and of your time trying to figure out which layer names were like double available or maybe even were like like triple available so we really have to be careful we really have to like jump off or we really have to like use unique layer names to not get into this situation where we have to correct 
all of the uh, layers in this screen. Of course, these are only two screens, but in the in the really in real world, basically in real projects, you will have problems when you have like big projects that maybe have 10 or 20 screens. You will have serious problems finding the right layers, finding the right uh, folders which you need to correct, which you need to change in order to get a clean animation. And so that's my appeal to you and that's also like for me that we should try to not to be that lazy but to actually give our names, uh, to actually give our layers good names, great names. And that's also very relevant when we are working with different designers and developers who are using the same file. So we have to really prepare that in a great way so that they can really work with the file and that they don't have any problems with the folder and file structure and hierarchy. Okay, so this was just this tutorial or basically this video where I wanted to focus on some real life, real practical tips in Sketch and Principle because I face this problem so often and I really want to like also help you when I see any bugs, any things that are like disrupting the process of designing a great UI and a great and, and create animation and I know that many of you have the same problem. So I hope you enjoyed this small session about talking about some of the problems that one of these or maybe both apps have. If you're interested in seeing more videos like that where I'm talking about the pain points that I have available in Sketch or in principle then just leave a thumb up on this video or subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So thank you for your time and enjoy your week. See you!